Hello. Yeah. This is a treat enough being here. I have. All right, then get out. <laughs> Got me. I'm. I'm. Boom, 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 boom. That's a good sign. This is. A, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I have things I can talk about. I. They're going to tar and feather you if you don't come up with I something know, pretty quick. I know, I know. It's. Cl something caused you to do that. What was it? Something made you want to. I. I was, Chew with us. What I was it? I was going to come up here no matter what. Why? That why? We want you to say why. I wanted to talk to you in the physical flesh and see you. Okay, so it's not great, is it? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you want confirmation that you're seen and you're seen. You light it up in a very bright way. What that means, when we see someone that lights up like you, we're lighting up. It means that you've got desires, but you've got expectations that are so close. There's nothing in the way of you. And that's what you want to hear from us. There's nothing in the way of you. You're wide open. Could you go a little deeper nope. on that? Nope. Mm, that's fair. Nope. If you're not asking it, we're not giving it. The question that you did ask is, you wanted confirmation about why you got chosen, and that's it. Because you have... Well, I, I feel oh, like... Oh, now it's coming. Oh, yeah, now you're going to stir some stuff up. Well, I, I discovered Abraham in, like, February. So this is new for me, and yet I've soaked my mind in this stuff. I've had previous 10 years of personal development stuff that I feel like some of it is like a, a thorn in my head. And it's all helpful. Every bit of it was helpful. Don't discount any of it. Don't push against any of it. It all was part of the process of unfolding. It was all good and all helpful and love every bit of every bit of it. Feel only appreciation for all of it. But you see, you are an ever expanding being. So you will always be on the precipice of something more. You're not ever going to get it done. And that's the thing that we must want to say to you because there's a little bit of insecurity within you. It's present within almost everybody that goes something like, I feel incomplete. And we say, get used to it. You always will be. That's why you've come. But we don't feel any strong wavering about what to do. We think you're pretty well tuned into your guidance system. About what to do? Could, what do you mean by that? Am I, <laughs> you said talk and so on. I'm talking about things. Do you have a question? I could, yeah. Yes. We will give you two minutes for a question. Absolutely. I'm stuck between effective, like motivation, action, and inspiration, action. You know I, the difference, though. I do know the difference. So what do you think got you in this chair just now? Motivation or inspiration? Do you think you tuned to us and then we saw you? Or do you think you demanded your place in this chair? That one? I feel like in my head I demanded being here. But see, here's the difference, yeah. and that's why we're having this conversation. In this law of attraction-based universe, if you mean by demand clarity, then we'll go with it. If you mean by demand, I'm going to get what I want, regardless of whether it's harmonic with anybody else, then it's not that way. So what you're calling the demand or the determination is just the clarity. It's the definiteness of purpose. It's the singularness of thought. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think what really got rid of some resistance to get up here was that I, for a while I was worried, oh, am I gonna say the right, do I have a question? Should I formulate something? You haven't even something? said close to the right thing. I know. <laughs> We've just been antagonizing the life out yeah, of you ever since you sat down here. Because it's not about that. It's not about saying the right thing. It's about holding an intention and then letting the intention be satisfied. I feel like I've held a lot of intentions in my life that have just fallen apart. And That's yet... because you thought you were holding the intention and you weren't. You were holding the intention for it and the awareness against it and the intention for it and the awareness against it. And you're doing a little bit of that right now. The intention for it and the awareness against it. So it's just a matter of calibrating yourself to what you want. We're going to make a very strong statement to you, to all of you, but we really want you to hear this. There's just one thing you have to do in order to be or do or have any of it. Just one thing. You just have to desire it. But it takes a little practice to desire and then not fight against it with memories, with observations, 
with what you think other people think but when you are pure in your desire meaning you expect it you want it and you trust it you want it and you trust it you want it and you know it then you're going to be pleasantly pummeled with those things that you've been wanting for a while it's not unusual to not expect things to come when they haven't been coming and that's why we incessantly those of you who have been listening to us for a while we just keep going back to the beginning there's this law of attraction and it is dominant and this is a world of attraction only there's no assertion and what you are putting out is what's coming back to you pay attention pay attention to what's coming back that's what you're putting out if what's coming back pleases you then keep putting it out there if you're getting all kinds of love and all kinds of wonderful things back then keep doing what you're doing but this is about living life and figuring out oh that that happened to me is a result of these feelings that I've been having which are because of these thoughts that I've been thinking and before you know it you've purified you've clarified you've calibrated your thoughts to your inner being who's thinking the thoughts of everything that you've put into your vibrational reality do you know what we mean by vibrational reality you came into this physical body and you've been sorting and sifting knowing what you don't want and asking for all kinds of things whether you speak it out loud or not and every time you ask every time verbally or vibrationally or emotionally you ask for something it is a vibrational emanation it is a vibrational radiating it is a vibrational oozing it is a vibrational rocket that your inner being sees follows and tends to and this culmination of all of these desires that you've been setting into motion equal a vibrational reality that is like a baby in the womb it is gestating and ready to come out into the world where you can see it but you have to be in the state of allowing yourself to see it you've put so much there but most people they don't calibrate themselves to what's there and you know why you know why you don't calibrate yourself to the things that you have created and to the things that you want and to the things that you've asked for we're not saying that you all don't we're not saying that any of you always don't we're just saying when you don't calibrate to what's in your vortex you know why because you're calibrating to what's already manifested which has nothing to do with it it's like old news it's like somebody saying oh I got a new job and somebody saying oh what are you gonna do and you say I don't know but let me tell you about my last job <laughs> well how much are you gonna make well I'm not sure but I didn't make enough on my last job it's like what is or what has been is so stuck in your vibrational craw that you don't let yourself expect around it even though your inner being has taken every detail that you've asked for in every phase of every relationship in every phase of everything that you've lived everything that you didn't like caused you to ask for something different and all of that your inner being has calibrated to and knows exactly how to lead you wonderful you and all that you've asked for to the details of all of that and you all say good let's go and let's go now and your inner being says let's savor it let's milk it let's live life let's let life show you all of these things that you want in this delicious way and this delicious way and this delicious way so we have some questions for you they're really easy questions and if you get it wrong we'll guide you to the right answer would you rather listen to the knowing of your inner being who was with you before you came into this body and has stayed with you all along and who knows every hope and dream and wish that you've asked for and has calibrated to it and has been part of the gathering of all the cooperative components <laughs> sort of a leading question here <laughs> would you rather ask for guidance and advice from your inner being or from your brother or cousin or person you used to work with inner being final answer then why don't you the difference is because this you have to tune to to feel it to see it to hear it this is out there bold and loud full of advice it, there's uh, some people I thank you I thought you were gonna smack me with that um. this is called distraction I tried to distract you from 
your discomfort. <laughs> now you're appropriately hypnotized. So thank you. Yeah, I, I look at manifestations from people like my brother or my father, and? Or, and and I think, well, they're doing something that I want to do or achieving a result. So maybe I should listen to them. Oh, my brother's into this form of personal development, and he highly recommends it. Oh, it's a wonderful thing to ask them what they think. But as you're collecting the data from others, weigh it against what your inner being thinks about it. Because while it may have been the perfect path for them, your inner being knows whether it's the perfect path for you. Because in your vortex is a unique pile of intentions and desires and preferences that are not the same of anybody else's. And so you can certainly ask, but weigh how you feel when those answers come against how you feel when the answers or the inspiration comes from your inner being. I assume weigh how I feel when I'm asking you questions as well, right? If I'm, if I'm in a negative state or not connected to source, and oh, well, what's the point can't. of asking the question? That goes without saying. You know that. If you're in a bad mood, you're not going to get anything back that you can trust. Nothing. So what you want to say to somebody is, I'm in a terrible mood and I'd like your advice, but none of it's going to be meaningful to me because I have no way under these conditions evaluating the appropriateness of what you're going to say to what I really know. So this is just going to be an exercise in futility and you're probably just going to be annoyed with me. I'm already annoyed with you. <laughs> No, calibrate yourself. The first conversation that we had with our friend is get yourself ready for the world. Calibrate to who you are and then. Calibrate to who you are and then. Then it's easy. Then it's easy, isn't it? Then it's easy. Fall out of calibration pretty quickly and easily. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter what you say, it's how you feel. Mm. And if that's the way you feel, you're not ever wrong in the way you feel, but it is guidance, you see. So you looked a lot brighter when you were over there. <laughs> yeah, well, but it's because this conversation has activated within you your insecurities. Well, and that's, you know, that's why I got up here in the first place, because I was thinking in my head bef months ago, I don't want to come up with a question because I've noticed when I try and figure out a question, I get, I, I start to lose connection for some reason. You're so, way, 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 way. We love you so much. Too much in your head. Yes. And the reason you are is because you're an entertainer and you care what they all think. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. She's and right. what they're thinking She's right, right now is they'd like you to go so they can come. <laughs> And they're thinking, I'm a lot like him. And everything that Abraham has said about this has been helpful to me. And this is all part of the calibration process. And you're tuned in much of the time and not tuned in some of the time. And you know the difference. You even reflected it back to us. Just now you said something and you knew right away. It wasn't calibrated to who you really are. You didn't need us standing here guiding you or teasing you. You can tell, yes? Yeah, yes. Do you believe that you are the creator of your own reality? Yes, but it's not a hard yes. I, I mean, I'll be honest. All right, I, so we're going to step back, not completely whoop, off the stage, on. but maybe. <laughs> Do you believe that you create your own reality? If you can't say yes to that fundamental, that you create your own reality, then you better ask the entire world what they think about everything and you better get the most awesome computer system going so that you can take all of that data and synthesize it and have it spit out some rhythms for you so that you, you don't bother with that because that won't work you don't know that you create your own reality i i do no you don't well exactly <laughs> so why why you badger me into having to so i I keep going well, back to... If you don't create your own reality, who does? I Nobody's know. ever going to come to this hot seat again. I know. You'll be so afraid. If you don't create your own reality, who does? Who creates your own reality? Do you believe in law of attraction? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a law of attraction that's responding to vibrational output. So hey. who's responsible for the vibrational output of any... I, I am. So you're responsible for your vibrational output and the law of attraction is responding to the vibrational output that you output and that doesn't translate into therefore I create my own reality yes yes I feel so intimidated right now oh 